Hey everybody, Alex Smart here. Uh, I'm very excited about this episode. I was inspired by the Tour de France, the stage one individual time trial, and I decided what would happen if an average Joe, not a pro racer, did a time trial. So that's what, I, that's what started me off, and then I thought of a great idea. I have access to a classic racing bicycle and a new modern super light comfort bicycle. So I wanted to answer the question, what is faster, the classic racing bicycle or the modern comfort bicycle? The route, very simple, just a 10 mile route, flats, mostly bike lane, not too many cars. Weather was calm, nice, not a lot of wind, beautiful days. Uh, some of the times I had issues with kind of pedestrians and work vehicles and things like that, but I sort of adjusted for that and did enough replications uh, to where I felt like I had reliable results. Let's talk about the vehicles. So the classic racing bicycle, carbon frame, one of the original carbon frames from circa 1991. Uh, they didn't even know how to fuse carbon yet at that point. They had, it has aluminum lugs, um, frame geometry, standard round tubes, uh, double triangle uh, versus the modern bicycle is uh, aluminum with carbon fork and some carbon in the stays. Uh, it also has the smaller rear triangle and the sloping top tube, all that stuff. So classic geometry versus new geometry. A little bit heavier, super light. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Tire size, classic racing bicycle, 700 by 20 C. Super thin racing tires. Uh, I actually put in 125 PSI in them and super, super hard uh, rolling uh, sidewalls a little straighter. So to deflect that debate about contact patch being larger, um, super high, high pressure. Um, now I know people are gonna still debate that, but I'm not gonna get into it here. Uh, versus the rounder profile 700 by 25 C on the modern endurance bicycle, the comfort bicycle. Chain rings, classic bicycle had those 5342 ch chain rings uh, versus the Comfort Bicycle, the new Compact Crank 5034. The cassette in the back, Classic Bicycle, that stacked seven speed cassette, 13 to 23, tight range. New Comfort Bicycle, 11 speed, 11 to 32. So a big difference there, not too important on the time trial because I don't use all those gears. Uh, handlebars, uh, racing bicycle, a little bit more narrow, more aggressive racing bars, still had the ergo drops, although I use the aero bars uh, for this had the profile six inch aero bar clamp on aero bars on the racing bicycle, comfort bicycle, wide drops, super wide drops, comfort higher up, no aero bars. Both hard sole bicycle shoes, but the classic bicycle I used uh, leather and canvas outers on those shoes and versus the kind of the hard plasticky uh, newer shoes on the uh, endurance bicycle. Helmet, classic Giro Vanto, which is the helmet that Greg LeMond used, not the helmet, but, uh, you know, the brand, uh, Giro Vanto, uh, well, really one of the first aero helmets. It wasn't a time trial helmet at all, but uh, had the vents and everything, but still really cool helmet for, the, for that day versus kind of just a standard uh, Giro. Uh, it's a, just a really just a basic helmet on the Comfort Bicycle. Clothes, I'm just wearing what I wore. It's just a, like a long sleeve t-shirt kind of thing. I'm wearing sweats with the sock over the right leg. You know, nothing too like skin suit or arrow or anything, but it was comparable. I used it the same for both. As far as weight, the weight for the racing bicycle coming in at a hefty 11.7 kilograms with all the gear and everything, uh, with the pump and the tools and everything I put on it, water bottle. Um, versus 9.8 kilograms, so huge weight savings for the new bicycle. By the way, they both have 105 component sets, so very comparable in, in quality and build and everything for their time. So which is faster? The um, classic racing bicycle, a little heavier, uh, but more aero, versus the new super light uh, comfort bicycle. The Comfort Bicycle actually came in at, uh, from with me riding it, don't laugh at these average speeds, uh, 30 minutes and eight seconds or 30 minutes and five seconds for the second ride. Um, 
for the 10 miles, the route is 10 miles. So that's about 20 miles an hour, 19.95 or versus 19.96 the second time. Very consistent, by the way, only three seconds difference. So it shows you that I was putting the, about the same amount of power in, um, very comparable. Modern racing, by, modern comfort bicycle, 30 minutes and eight seconds versus 28 minutes and 44 seconds just blew it out of the water so this classic racing bicycle with the aero bars mind you over a minute like what is that a minute and 20 seconds so those aero bars man they just over a minute like almost a minute and a half one of them is different for just a 10 mile ride that's huge now, I wanted to see how much of a difference those aero bars, maybe it was just the classic racing bicycle. When I didn't use the aero bars and I just used the drops, uh, it still beat the modern comfort bicycle, but coming in at 29 minutes and 52 seconds for take one, and 29 minutes and 35 seconds for take two. So still almost 40 seconds difference, even without using the aero bars. So if the, I guess the lesson here is, if you have a classic racing bicycle, or even just a classic bicycle in general, Keep that, that bad boy because he's doing a better job than you think. And to, to give even more evidence to this, another bicycle that is a kind of a more of a touring, classic touring bicycle, even older than the racing bicycle, Karamali steel frame, heavier, 13.3 uh, kilograms for this one. And that even that bicycle came really close to the new bicycle at 30 minutes and 26 seconds. So that's only 15 seconds difference for an older bicycle with less quality components and heavier, um, only 15 seconds. So I think really the lesson here is what everybody knows is that your body is really the biggest obstacle to you getting faster. You know, that aero position is it appears to be much more important than the weight factor. Now, of course, if you're going into the mountains, I would take something like the Comfort Bicycle into the mountains for sure. The interesting thing is when I was in the aero bars, I just felt like I was racing, like I was inspired. I wasn't really pushing harder because I was pushing both times. There's no way you can account for a minute and a half, power meter or not, that's a difference. <laughs> So let's get into the verdict here. The verdict overall is definitely aero bars are a huge difference. Everybody knows that, but I didn't know it was that much. <laughs> I mean, a minute and a half in only a half hour ride. Um, and I actually preferred the classic bicycles, even the classic touring bicycle, like they just feel more fun. Uh, you know, again, I felt more comfortable on the newer bicycle. I would definitely, you know, like if I'm doing a double century or like something really far, I would definitely take the endurance, the, the comfort bicycle but the racing bicycle just felt more fun in a racing environment. Really what I want people to get out of this is to be inspired to do their own research. Uh, and you can't really apply what I do to you. You have to you know, take whatever bicycles you have access to and see what works for you, what doesn't work for you. Because again, when you're not at the competitive level, you're you're including comfort and desires and, and preferences and things that you want to do in the, the formula you know once you start getting competitive then you start looking at science and start really doing research and getting power meters and all that but at this stage you really just want to have fun and just really compare your psychology in the different situations as far as future research things i might want to do in the future i'm thinking about maybe putting different 20 millimeter tires on the racing bicycle and maybe even trying some 23s and maybe one day um, when I get tens of thousands of dollars I'll get a power meter and a wind tunnel and I'll do some some quote real research part of this research is a case study it's, it's a little bit more qualitative but it really gives you an insight in what works for you and that's why I encourage people to do this it's inspiring it's fun it tells you what works and also for me I was honestly I was really expecting the modern comfort bicycle to win and the fact that I could never get it faster than even without the aero bars on the racing bicycle really showed me something that I wasn't expecting so I don't even think we have a placebo effect going on here because I really thought it was going to be the other way uh, so very interesting um, hope you enjoyed this I really had a lot of fun doing this and hope you're inspired to do your own uh, exercise and, and get out there and see how fast you can go 
and we'll see you next time thanks everybody